Oh my god, it feels so weird propping up a camera and talking to it. I moved! So I had been living in my other apartment for five years, which is the longest I've ever like been in one place consecutively. I've been all over. I've lived in different parts of Puerto Rico. I lived in Macao, I lived in Caguas, Carolina, and now San Juan. I had to move because the apartment was being sold and so it was just like a whole, it was just chaos. So as soon as I like toured the apartment, I went straight to Pinterest and I created an entire mood board of things of how I wanted certain areas to look like. You know, most people move and you don't have your furniture I didn't have a couch for the longest time so taking that idea out of my head I kind of want to show you what I've done so far and what it's looking like now and yeah let's get on with it so this apartment is a lot smaller than my previous one so I had a couple tricks for storage which I will be showing you let's start with the kitchen though this is what it was looking like before and this is the after I want to talk about the backsplash real quick I felt I wanted the kitchen to stand out a little bit more so I took my projector and I used it as a guideline to mark down these like air quote tile wall and I know this easily could have been done with tile I went with the paint route and it worked out and I like it so <laughs> Now, like I said, the kitchen doesn't have a lot of storage, so I saw these metal storage racks on Pinterest and I thought it was such a cute idea for placing pots and pans and I didn't want to fill up my stove with all the pots and pans. I already have like three saltenes in there. We're trying to break generational cycles and that is one of them. I only left out like the prettiest looking plates and cups and I helped also like divide food, like the food load. Um, and I don't know, it kind of just looks decorative. Now, there's only one drawer for silverware, so I got these things called trones which are usually used for shoe storage but it was perfect for storing other things that you usually like shove into your drawers because there's no place for them like, I also had this little shelf installed above to have like an additional counter space for cutting stuff Moving on to the entryway, I thought it'd be perfect to add the bench and the mirror that I already had in this spot because you can sit and take off your shoes or check yourself out before heading out like check your outfit and stuff and it fit great For a living room space, I really love the idea of like a hanging lamp over a dining table or like a breakfast or coffee spot, even though I don't drink coffee, but you get it. And coming from the previous apartment, the idea of a picture frame wall area was something that I had done. So I wanted to combine these two ideas. And fun fact, a lot of the pictures on the wall I painted from a reference I saw online. And we had to fake the ceiling lamp because there was no actual electrical anything there. So Brian did a little invention and and it worked out. I had been looking for a couch that wouldn't break the bank, but that was also still cute. I finally found this one at the thrift store and guess how much it was? $150 for an actual leather couch. I had literally prayed for this. I wanted a leather couch and I literally found one the moment that I stepped into the thrift store for the first time with the mission of finding a couch. So yeah, that was a really happy find. Onto the rest of the living room, like I said, I was on a budget, so instead of a TV table, I took this IKEA bookshelf and I flipped it on its side for literally half the price and it worked. It got the job done. She's cute. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say the word cute. And I found a space for my plants and bookshelves that I had in my previous apartment. My goal is to add a lot more plants. I just love how it feels to have them and to look at them. One of the first rooms I started pinning things on Pinterest for was the bedroom. Because the room was a lot smaller, one of my favorite parts was precisely the window. So I love the idea of having the bed right in front of the window and then the light fixture change it for like for something else where I could actually play with the lighting and I found a really cool light bulb in Ikea that did just that now like I said I'm filming this and I'm not done decorating one of the ideas that I have for the windows in the room is these bamboo shades I like it because it makes it feel more tropical and I do I mean I live in Puerto Rico, so just to make the space look a little bit more cute because the AC is kind of hanging there. We got to fix that mess that's going on there. And I like how these look a little bit better than actual curtains. The bathroom isn't anywhere near where I want it to be, um, but I did, again, change out like the light fixture. I have a couple ideas for the bathroom, and I think this could work. The idea is to always look for pictures that look similar to the space that you're going to be working with, and then pick out what is it that you actually like about the picture that you're looking at and pinpoint how that could apply to the room that you're working with. 
Right now the office is basically a storage room, so I'm not even gonna show you that. It's still filled with boxes of things that we have no idea where to put them at yet, but I will get to that. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It feels so good to be back, honestly. Yeah, it really does feel good to be back. So that is all for now. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.